Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm... Does Rodney and go? Okay. What's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come and run my mouth and talk about some people. All right, y'all. So, listen. Again, this ain't got nothing to do with me. I just report the news. <laughs> I don't make the news. Um, I don't know who is advising Tasha K. I don't know. Um... But we talked about in my previous video that Tasha K and Cardi B were going back and forth online. Um, the drama started back, from what I understand. I just painted my fingernails. I'm trying to be careful. Um, Tasha K, um, Cardi was basically criticizing um, one of the guys, stepfather, who was in that um that submarine um it's another name for it i can't think of the name um but his stepfather was as was down there um and she had you know she basically said you out at the club <laughs> you out at the con out at the concert having a good time and pretty much your stepdaddy is dead um and then Tasha K came back and was basically like, after Takeoff died, you was doing X, Y, and Z. And then Cardi B responded, and then she responded again. She was going off online. And then Tasha K, she's now responded back to Cardi B. <laughs> this is what Tasha K had to say. I want to send, let me, uh, ooh, hold up. Let me screenshot this. It'll be easier. Y'all know, you know I'm getting old. Oh, I just messed my nail up. Oh, my God. It'll be all right. Okay. Um, so this is what Tasha K had to say. I want to send a sincere apology to, I mean, a, a sincere apology out to Barty Gang. It's my fault as to why y'all don't have a second album. Um, she's been in court with me for six years, distracted from her purpose, now going on seven. Atlantic is broke and won't help pay for a second album. Offset in court fighting to release an album. And my sister-in-law sold her rights to her catalog off too early in her career. Now there is no money to produce the album. Uh, she is constantly taking car insurance ads. <laughs> Tasha K is funny to me. Um, she is constantly taking car insur insurance ads to keep the lights on and pay lawyers to continue to chase me down for money I don't have. <laughs> God, no, that's right. I ain't got it. I ain't, girl, you better come up with it. Um, I'm so uh, sorry for distracting y'all, Queen. Between me and the surgeons, we owe y'all a huge apology. I don't know what's going on with Tasha. Clearly, she don't care. Um, Atlantic refuses to give her any money to, produ pr to, pr to produce a second album because they took such a loss on her first album that she is now starting to promote six years later. Again, I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. But if you want music, real consistent music, please stream hashtag Barbie World this Friday. Hashtag Ice Spice is from where she is from and can give y'all the music y'all need. Instead of her giving y'all a hashtag Tasha K album. <sighs> God, I don't know, girl. I don't know. You know, all I'm going to say is this. I said it last night. I'm going to say it again. I do think it's crazy with Tasha K. You know what? You know what? You know what? I just thought about it. Because Tasha K filed for bankruptcy. So... And I don't think I don't think that Tosh I don't think I think that whatever money Cardi B had got those one or two times she can't get that money right now. Like Car Tosh is still owes Cardi, but I think they stopped all payments that were going towards uh, Cardi. Right? <laughs> is that what it is? So Tasha can, so I mean, she still owes Cardi the four million, but Tasha know I think in this moment that Cardi can't take her money anyways because she filed for that bankruptcy. Am I right? I just thought about that. That's why Tasha online couldn't have acted a fool because she know at the end of the day. 
That's what it is, huh? Because she know at the end of the day, girl, I ain't got no money. You ain't getting no money. You can't take my money anyways. Is that what it is? Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. I know y'all will. Um, Larsa Pippen reportedly awarded 50% of Scottie Pippen's Chicago Bulls retirement fund set to receive cash lump sum. <laughs> Shout out to the preferences. Um, Mo Money, Real Housewives of Miami. This is according to the Jasmine brand. Um, star Larsa Pippen will receive a portion of Scottie Pippen's retirement plan from his tenure with the Chicago Bulls. Um, court documents obtained by RadarOnline.com reveal that Larsa Pippen and her ex-husband have officially informed the court about her new status as an alternate payee on the Chicago Bulls 401k savings plan trust. According to legal filings, it has been determined that the Chicago Bulls 401k uh, savings plan trust is considered a community property of their marital estate. The reality star will reportedly be entitled to receive 50% of all account balances as a plan um, valuation date closest to the party's date of marital separation, November the 3rd, 2016. Listen. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I'm not. We have to remember, from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, that Larsa Pippen was with Scottie Pippen since she was a young woman. I think 2021. And all I'm saying is this. It would be different if Larsa had been married to Scottie for one or two years and was trying to take, you know, all of Scottie's money. Then I would be like, girl, you a year or two really ain't that long. <laughs> you trying to take all that man money. But girl, after 21, 25 years of marriage, that's their money. <laughs> okay? And I think we have to take it. For me, I look at it through this lens. There are people out there right now who have a hard time finding a job and they have the required skill set. They meet the requirements, they meet the qualifications, and they still can't find a job, okay? So someone like Larsa Pippen, who probably doesn't even have a resume, <laughs> okay? Uh, who probably ain't never really had no job because she's been with Scotty again since she was like, she was with Scotty since she was like 2021. 20, Y'all expect this woman to then go out into the workforce at almost 50 years old, girl, don't know nothing about no Microsoft Word, don't know nothing about no Power, PowerPoint, don't nothing about no Excel, and just find a job all willy-nilly. And then expect that she should not receive any of their money. I think she should receive what she's receiving. Well, she might not have been, she might not have been on the court, but clearly there was an agreement that Larsa would stay with the kids and Scotty would work. You have now removed me. We have now had an agreement that you were, that I'm going to remove myself from getting a job and basically being your mattress made a mule. Now that it's over, I need to be paid. I think it's fair. <laughs> I think it's fair. And yes, I know some. I know some, it's going to be one or two of y'all that get in the comment section and gonna say if that was a man, you would be saying something different. Than I would. I have no issue telling y'all when I have a double standard. I do have a double standard when it comes to when women exit a, ma a marriage and when a man tries to take a woman's money. <laughs> I do. But at least I can acknowledge my double standards. Some of y'all can acknowledge y'all's. <laughs> okay? Um, I'm not mad at it. Get your money, Larson. Girl, get your money. I feel like it's old to her. You've been with this man, you were with that man for, girl, almost either over two decades, almost three decades. I said, I'll say, what, almost 25 years? She was with that man for a very long time. Three or four kids. Yeah. 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 I'm not mad at it. <clears throat> I gotta hurry up because I'm so hungry. I wanna go have me a steak. But I don't know though. I want to treat myself, but that steakhouse is kind of expensive. So I don't know. I'm going to think about it. But I do have a taste for a good old nice steak and a little side and a little cocky. <laughs> Come on, cocky. 
Now I gotta go to the liquor store. Because I'm not, um, I need a bottle for my room, okay? Anyways, um, girl, Summer Walker, just hilarious, and that man who she messing with, who Summer Walker is messing with. All right, this is what Jess Hilarious had to say, a piece of what she had to say, okay? I hate when Summer Walker jumped in this girl's DM, right? Yeah, Summer, you're doing too damn much. Cause Shut up. Summer, I hate when girls do this, but Summer Walker jumped in this girl's DM, right? Yeah, Summer, you're doing too damn much, because bitches be lying. He cheated. He cheating on you, and I think he need to keep cheating. Just to be honest, I'm just going to say that. Listen, just, just keep on cheating on her because that's how we get the best Summer Walker music. Yo. So she don't give Meech no baby. That's what happened when you mess with a deli smelly nigga, though. That's what happened. You know, it, it, when, when, when they smell. You well, I hate when girls do this, but Summer Walker. Okay, so that's what she had. That's a clip of what she had to say. Um, so for those who don't know, I tried to go do a, do, tried to do a little research, her girl. And so basically, Summer Walker is talking to a guy named Meech. I think he's on that show, B, uh, B, um, B, Black Mafia Family. Is that what it is on Stars? I tried to watch that show. I couldn't get past like the first like five minutes. I think what it was was because I had just watched Power, and then I had watched the one Tariq show, and then I also watched Tommy's show. So I think I was like, girl, I think I was over the Girl, I was a dope boy out. <laughs> so I was like, girl, the dope boys done did a number on me, girl. I done watched three three different shows, right? And so I figured that that's what that show was going to be about. And so I really, I think I might try to go and watch it. Anyways, so Summer is talking to this guy. And there was a girl who had his chain on, Okay. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a story that this is from what I've gathered. There was a girl, I guess a fan, I don't know, a groupie, I don't know, who had the guy's chain on. Summer DM'd the girl. I'm sorry. I think Summer looks like a fool. I'm sorry. She does. Girl, how are you all? You just, I remember this relationship going public not too long ago. What? Probably a month and a half, two months ago? It, has, it hasn't It has been a very long time. And girl, you're already in somebody's DM questioning them about show man? <laughs> girl, don't ask me nothing about that man. Girl, that's, girl, let me tell you something. Girl, I don't live there no more. Girl, I don't live there in my old Jezebel. Girl, the Lala spirit heathen ways i don't live there no more but if i did girl don't message me about no man girl because you're gonna you're you're girl, you're not gonna get no response don't ask me nothing about your man girl go ask your man because at the end of the day it ain't gonna matter anyways because you're gonna stay girl what what i'm gonna tell you yeah we smash you're gonna be ready to beat me up girl no ma'am we smash, you stand, girl. What's T? So, ta so Tasha, so Summer, um, what's my mic on? So Summer, she is in the girls' DM. I guess the girl must have Anissa. Who is she famous? I don't know. So I guess Anissa must have just messaged her back in 2019. Hello, sis. Welcome to Toronto. And then she responded and said, LOL, how y'all know one another? And then she and then Anissa responded and said, hi, love. First of all, first off, I'm a huge supporter. Me and Hun, she put Hun. Me and Hun don't know each other at all, but she corrected it. She went back and said me and him, but she initially put Hun. Um, don't know each other. My apologies if y'all feel disrespected. If you feel disrespected, I can take the videos down if you like. I'm not that type of woman. And then Summer said, you don't have to take them down, but y'all, but if y'all don't know each other, 
how you end with how did you end up with his chain on? Girl, block, delete, girl, don't girl, this conversation is it was such a random night, but I ran into, into security and just asked to try it on. Um, Meech and I didn't even have a conversation um, on God. And then Summer said, so you just happened to get in the car with it on, no conversation. And then she said, I had no conversation with Meech. I know I'm saying, how do you get in the car with no conversation? Basically saying, <laughs> y'all y'all know what she's saying. I spoke with security and I was in the car with security. And then she said, in him or just security? Only security. Girl, girl. Sama, Sama, I'm not trying to be funny, but girl, no tea, no shade. You have been through enough with these men for you to be turning around just after you gave birth to twins girl dealing with somebody who you clearly don't trust because if you did you would not be in another woman's dm having a full-blown conversation about your nigga or y'all nigga <laughs> okay you had the first one who girl they say ain't no good what's his name london on the track then you had the second one, Larry. <laughs> you done got his whole name. You done had his whole ta his whole name tattooed across your fucking forehead. Girl, just a fool. A fool and a half. So now you walking around here, girl, with the first baby from London on the track. Then girl, you done turned around and had twins. Is Larry the daddy? I can't remember, but I remember her getting that tattoo girl tatted across her tatted across her skull like a fool. And now you done went on to to, to Big Meech, girl. And now you in in somebody else's conversation. I mean somebody else DM having a conversation about your man. Girl, stop. That is crazy. And you know it's crazy. Well, no, you don't. That's why you're doing it. Big Meech also released some tweets, some DMs of Jess being in his DMs um, from 2021. This is what Jess had to say. I'm so proud of you. You were made for this ish and to do so much at, oh wait, and to do so much after this. Then she messaged him again on February the 26th. Hey, are you still in Baltimore? You know, girl, the truth of the matter is that this was a man we will say that, girl, he was trying to talk to her. So I don't put nothing past um, Jess trying to talk to him either. Now, all of a sudden, girl, it is kind of ironic. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? It's ironic. Shout out to Alanis Morissette. Um, now, all of a sudden, girl, he musty. <laughs> was, he, was he musty on December the 21st, 2021? <laughs> Was he musty, bitch? Okay. <laughs> Was he musty on February the 26th at 12.36 p.m.? <laughs> now all of a sudden, girl, June 2023, after he done left your ass ghost both times, now he musty. <laughs> girl, shut up. Ugh, girl. This is also some more what Summer Walker had to say. And Jess... Um, you are really weird ass B I T C H. What black woman hopes another black woman get keeps getting cheated on? LOL, like, huh? That's dark. And then congratulates a man, tries to link up with him, and then turns around a short time later to say he stink. Have you ever, have you even met either one of us? I understand you wasn't nobody first choice on that show, but this isn't how you try to solidify your spot. Like, you just miss being, girl, girl, now this is what I'm not going to lie, girl. You know, I, I don't, I, you know, I clutch my pearls sometimes. And sometimes I don't clutch my pearls. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, okay. Girl, this is when I clutch my pearls. I want y'all to listen to what Summer Walker told Jess, okay? Like, you just miss being a nigga by a chromosome. Lord, forgive me, but damn. You think being so ugly, you try to be sweeter. 
Being ugly in and out isn't a good combination and will not get you far in this industry. Now, I'm going to say this much. I've always thought that Summer Walker was a pretty girl. You know, I hated when she pinched that nose. When she got that nose, I thought it was just too much. Because whenever, whenever she put her makeup on and contoured, girl, she pretty much gave you an old nasty Michael Jackson tea. I think Jess Hilarious is a pretty woman. Um, but Summer... You can't be walking around here calling nobody ugly. You done got a little stuff done to your face. Like I said, Summer Walker was never an ugly woman to me either. But I think it's a little unfair for you to walk around here, you know, with new bodies. <laughs> Girl, new face. And then want to turn around and call somebody ugly. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, like, like a man or a woman going and laying on a table and, Girl, getting a gastric bypass, a BBL, Girl, girl, a three six a lipo, and then want to turn around and call, and then call somebody a fat bitch. Girl, when you was a fat bitch, fat bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like, girl, you lost your mind. You know, trying to say somebody, girl, oh, flat ass helpful. Girl, you were the flat ass, hence the BBL. <laughs> okay. But some of y'all, some of y'all really don't be having flat asses. Some of y'all just be want to do the muscle. Some of y'all already got big asses and just want more ass on top of the ass, which I don't understand. Anyway, child, it is what it is. I'm tired of Summer Walker and uh, Jess and Meech. Girl, do what you want to do, girl. Summer Walker grown, <laughs> okay? She gonna do what she wanna do. <laughs> we gonna do what we wanna do. Girl, I'm grown, you grown, we all grown. We all gonna do what we wanna do. Can't nobody tell me how to live my life, and girl, can't nobody tell you how to live yours. All we can do is just call each other fools. <laughs> That's what everybody got down to. Girl, you look like a fool. <laughs> girl, you look like a fool. <laughs> girl, you look like a fool. We all grown, you know? It is what it is. <sighs> all right, I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Oh, I thought I was still recording. Hold on, why is it still recording?